We're, uh, we're in Kingston, and uh, we're with my good friend um, Arthur Milnes. How you doing, Adrian? It's been a while. Been a while. <laughs> uh, long time. Uh, can you tell us uh, what you're doing these days? Well, most importantly, we're in a, it's an election, and we're in a bar owned by John A. McDonald. It doesn't get better than it that. It doesn't get any better for a federal election. Yeah. Now, so, I've decided uh, I'm not voting in this election. Why? I, uh, I'm kind of fed up with our national leaders. I don't yeah, see yeah. much difference in, yeah, yeah. in the two of them. And uh, I think Canadian politics right now, you're going to hate me for this, is, is a little bit boring. Okay. It's and, a boring campaign so far. And uh, convince me why I should vote. Oh, what a great question. You should vote because um, you got to make a choice. You're engaged in journalism. You're engaged in the public. Uh, I, I would personally argue you owe it to yourself and the body politic to make that to get out there and make that decision but it's not the, easy but the choice I've made is that I'm going to abstain I don't like that you know when it, they can say very different things mm -hmm. but when it gets down to what they're actually going to do right when they get back into the House of Commons and there's, we're still laying, dealing with the same players yeah. and possibly in the same roles right how can we expect a different result well I think that's where leadership comes in that's where you uh, uh, to go back to my pal John A. for a minute, um, that was personal will of a leader to create that railway, right? And we were, you and I were discussing privately um, John F. Kennedy pledging to go to the moon, mm -hmm. right? Leaders can do that, right? But we don't, and we don't have that push, and in, in we should. We we have a lot of things that need to get done in this country, well, but no one is taking it and saying we're going to fix healthcare once and for all. Why don't they? That's why I'm not voting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I, 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 but I'm not going to blame it on the leaders, uh, just on them. They, they play a role, don't get me wrong, but I want, as a Canadian, I want to be inspired. I want to be led. Me too. too. And I want to be taken to the moon by my prime minister, or I want to be taken to on the CPR by my prime minister. I want to be taken to Medicare by... Uh, Prime Minister Pearson and Tommy Douglas and John Diefenbaker played a great role in that as well. Um, my question that I think we're both having the same question and neither one's answering it, my question is, is it the leaders who have let us down by not offering us a CPR or are we the people letting this, us ourselves down by not demanding a CPR? Well, that's, I think that's what it comes down to. And I don't have the answer.